Today, we're going to be checking out the Devil's Triad Essentials, the new Jeff Loomis Signature Overdrive from All Pedal. So all pedal were cool enough to actually send this over for me to check out and they were even cool enough to send me one of the autographed ones, which is super killer for me because I am such a big Jeff Loomis fan. Uh, if anyone remembers old videos from way back in the day, which please don't watch them. Uh, I started off the channel with my main guitar being one of the Jeff Loomis signature Schecters. I had it in the vampire satin red and I really do miss that guitar. It was so good. I, I loved it. It was gorgeous. It played awesome. That was my first like really good guitar. Um, but I'm a huge Jeff Loomis fan. I think this Godless Endeavor from Nevermore is maybe one of the most perfect metal albums of all time. I was very much lucky enough to see them on their what would turn out to be Nevermore's last tour ever and actually meet the whole band, which was such an incredible experience to meet everybody, meet Jeff and Worrell before he unfortunately passed and you know jeff's other work is incredible too his solo projects are so good I, I loved his work with conquering dystopia him and keith absolutely nailed it with that just he is such an incredible guitar player and one of my biggest influences and while i definitely can't play like him uh i i admire his work so so much and originally there had been a bigger version of this from all pedal and it had combined uh, the overdrive boost, and then it had uh, you know some other effects in there, I believe, like a delay and reverb, I'm pretty sure. I didn't get to check out that one, but essentially it was supposed to be like an all-in-one pedal for like you know your rhythm and your lead sound, and uh, they wanted to do an essentials version of it, but it's not just the overdrive and boost circuit from that. They actually added some things that I think make this a lot cooler, and you know while it is cool to have an all-in-one pedal, I don't need the other time-based effects, I really just want a good overdrive and boost. So what makes this different from the original Devil's Triad? Well, first of all, the tone knob is now split into bass, middle, and treble, so you have much more fine control over everything. And then the boost also has a, a little bit something different too. Instead of just having the overall boost, which is what you have here in the post, it's also got a pre-control. And the pre-control actually essentially is like a pregame for how much of the level you're getting from the overdrive. So you can actually turn this back a little bit if you don't want to, to hit it quite as hard, or you can really boost this into the actual boost. And all of a sudden you're having this much more saturated, compressed uh, you know, thing going on because you're boosting the signal you're getting from the overdrive uh, before it gets to the actual boost circuit to go out to the amplifier. And you can kind of mess with these to get more saturation if you just need, you know, a higher gain setting or what it's really used for, what Jeff uses it for to get more gain and compression and saturation for lead work, uh, which, well, I'm not the greatest lead player in the world. It is good to have something to get a good lead sound when you need it. So it definitely makes this thing pretty versatile. Now, this thing is definitely really tight and aggressive and modern. So I think it's really good that it has that three band EQ because you can really dial it into whatever amp. This bass control, I actually found myself kind of pumping the bass a bit more, even on my seven string, because it was just that tight. I feel like you would only start to roll this off if you were playing into like a really loose amp, like something like a dual rectifier. And then you'd probably turn it up a bit more if you're going into something more modern, like an EVH or something like I'm gonna be doing. Same for the mid control. I don't think you'd really be pumping the mid control a ton unless you're looking for like a really mid heavy, like super modern kind of gent thing. Or again, if you're going into something like really scooped like a dual rack. And then the treble control, uh, I don't think you would be really pushing that hard unless you were going into a darker amp. So, you know, you can kind of just tailor this to whatever amp you're plugging it into. And I think that this makes, uh, the three band EQ alone makes this, I think, a much cooler drive than the one that was on the original Devil's Triad. So that's enough of me gushing about how much I love Jeff Loomis and uh, all the features on the, the overdrive. 
We're gonna hear this inside and outside of a mix. I'm gonna be plugging directly into the panel with my uh, Schecter Cam Mark III. Like I said, I unfortunately don't have a Jeff Loomis guitar anymore. I would absolutely kill for his Jackson Kelly, uh, especially uh, that newer six string one he's got, because um, I believe he's got some passive pickups coming out with Seymour Duncan, or they're already out now. And oh, I would absolutely love to demo that on the channel. Like, please, Jackson, please. I would love to, that That Kelly is so sick. But anyway, so we're gonna be plugging into that with my Keith Marrow Schecter, which is fitting, Keith's a buddy of his. And that's gonna be going into the pedal, and then the pedal is gonna be going into the blue channel of my EVH 5153 Stealth 50 Watt, which is in turn gonna be going into my Two Notes Captor X with an IR blend of my DB77 and VM1265 IR. Uh, like speaker blend and then we're gonna hear the whole thing outside of a mix all in that same setup let's check it out
Super modern, right? Like lots of pick attack, very, very aggressive, very cutting for the in mix. I did my best to, you know, write something kind of like Jeff Loomis. I think it came out pretty cool. I was stoked on the music. And this definitely helped get that like really cutting tone. It's not often I see an overdrive that I think would work really good on like a 5150, but then also would work good on something like my dual rectifier, um, especially with something like a seven string guitar, because I would want one to be a lot tighter and the other one to not be quite as tight. And the EQ on this allows me to go to drastically different EQs. So I think that's pretty cool. And then the boost I think is fantastic if you just need a little bit of extra for some lead. Overall, I think it's a really cool pedal. Again, I'm stoked that I got an autographed one just because I'm such a Jeff Loomis fanboy. Um, I'm gonna have a link down below if you wanna check out this, the bigger version of, of the pedal, the Slammerai or anything else from All Pedal. This is my first time checking out All Pedal, and I, I think it's really cool, and I would love to check out some other stuff. Would love to know your opinion. If you're you know, a Jeff Loomis fan, Nevermore fan, fan of All Pedal, anything like that, leave a comment down below. But thanks for watching, guys. Stay metal.